Super Bowl 52 tickets set a new record. OXO food service stores outsell McDonald's and Starbucks. And Dutch multinational firm Axo Noble announces a new 12 million euro expansion plan in Mexico. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Mexico News Network's Breaking News Business. I'm your host, Joseph Garza. Let's go to the information. You want tickets to see Tom Brady win his sixth Super Bowl ring or see the Philadelphia Eagles get their first title? Be prepared for your wallet to take a linebacker-sized hit. The cheapest ticket on resale markets for the Patriots-Eagles Super Bowl is $4,370, according to Ticket IQ. If Super Bowl 52 ticket prices hold at this level, they will shatter the previous record set by the 2016 Broncos-Panthers Super Bowl 50 matchup. Super Bowl 52 will be played at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis on February 4th, and prices fell about $500 after the Minnesota Vikings lost to the Eagles in the NFC Championship game. Even without a chance to see the Vikings play in their home stadium, the average resale ticket on secondary markets for this year's Super Bowl is way up this year, more than $9,000. The huge increase in resale price is because there aren't as many tickets available on secondary markets as there have been in past years, explained Ticket IQ founder Jesse Lawrence. Secondary markets used to be the primary way fans bought tickets, but the NFL now sells the bulk of Super Bowl tickets directly through its own ticket broker. Moving on, OXO, Mexico's equivalent of 7-Eleven convenience stores, outsold all major fast food service outlets last year, including McDonald's, Starbucks, and Veeps. The existing 15,999 15, OXO stores in Mexico and Colombia are owned by FEMSA, who now occupies first place in the fast food service sector, with a 1.7% share equivalent to $745 million, according to Euromonitor International data. OXO offers a wide selection of fast food options at very low prices. In addition to serving cold food, most stores offer freshly prepared foods such as tacos, gorditas and quesadillas. According to Euromonitor, convenience stores have seen faster growth in fast food with an increase of 8% followed by hamburger chains with an increase of 6%. OXO offers a far simpler, low-cost alternative to the premium or gourmet products currently on the menus of leading brands such as Burger King, McDonald's and Carl's Jr., according to the analysis. In other news, Dutch specialty chemicals manufacturer Axo Noble is to invest more than 12 million euros to expand production capacity and upgrade its organic peroxides facility in Los Reyes, Mexico. The Dutch company is a global market leader in polymers used for road marking, resurfacing and roofing applications. The investment is the latest in a series of recent capital investments at the Los Reyes site by the company's polymer chemistry business. In January 2017, it finalized a 22 million euro organic peroxides expansion. The latest expansion project is expected to be completed by May 2019. Johan Lanfors, the executive committee member responsible for polymer chemistry, explained that Mexico is an important market for the company's sustainable growth and that by expanding its operations in Los Reyes, it will also need to hire more people, which is good news for the growth of the local economy. Over the last three years, Axo Noble's polymer chemistry business has invested more than 100 million euros globally to better serve its customers in the polymer industry, upgrading technologies, increasing capacity, and repositioning its global manufacturing footprint. And finally, let's turn to the markets. The Mexican peso decreased 0.82% to 18.5384 from 18.6910 on the dollar in the previous trading session. On the other hand, the IPC Mexico increased 0.57% to 50,260 from 49,974 in the previous trading session. 
This was all for today. Thank you again for staying with us. I'm your host, Joseph Garza. Remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Log on to MexicoNewsNetwork.com for more information on Mexico and the world. Until next time.